my ducks, my swans, welcome to the pond. What's up, Pond? My name is Alex, and I am the lead video editor here at group82university.com. And today I'm going to bring you guys a quick tutorial on how to edit hyper narration videos. Now, you ask, what is hyper narration videos? And that's a very good question. Essentially, it's a style of video where there's a lot of quick cuts. It's the subject of a lot of videos on YouTube where there's just someone talking, very common in vlogging. And essentially, it's a pretty easy way to edit. You need to know a couple of tips and tricks, and that way that'll allow you to get through the edit really quickly and also have it sound and look good. So that's what I'm going to do right here. So uh, let's jump into it. Space me out right here. That's always the trickiest part is where's my camera going to go? Basically, I have some old Dorian footage here and I'm just going to cut it down and show you guys how it's done. So I'm editing in Adobe Premiere Pro. Basically, what you're going to want to do is drag the video to the original timeline. And then I'm going to grab Dorian's audio and drag that to the timeline as well. And essentially what Dorian does is he records via video and audio. So that's what you're seeing right here. I'm going to turn this down so Dorian doesn't break my eardrums. So yeah, I'm going to line it up like this. This is a cryptic, cryptic clip. So essentially here, I want to just cut out the clap, obviously. I want to make sure that these are lined up. So what I'm going to do is delete the top layer here or unlink it. So this isn't necessarily specific to video editing itself, but you know, if you're going to get projects like this in the future or want to edit your own videos to make it look good, uh, you're going to have to go ahead and just kind of follow some of the steps involved here. We're going to take the better audio uh, and I'm just going to press C or click the razor tool here. And then I'm going to cut both of these ends right at this point where he starts talking. And then I'm gonna highlight the footage behind it since we won't need it for the edit and just clear it. Press ripple delete to get back to the, uh, to make the thing start the top words. <laughs> and then I'm gonna drag out the audio timeline down just so it's a bit larger here. Gotta love it when trucks start backing up in the middle of my recording, huh? Once I go ahead and do that, then I'm going to highlight both of the audio and the video and then link them together. And that way, now we have Dorian's audio matching the exact movements of his lips and makes the audio go in sync. This is a cryptic, cryptic clip. So now that I have Dorian's video footage on the timeline here, we're gonna wanna go ahead and chop the timeline up in areas where there's downtime or he's taking a breath or maybe he sniffles or, you know, anything in between here. I'm going to go ahead and go through the timeline here and watch the video and find moments where Dorian maybe sniffles. There's some breaths that he takes in between words or sentences and, you know, just in general, find bits that don't necessarily belong in the video. I want this to be really quick cuts and that way when we get to the editing phase later, that will allow us to do different elements and have a lot of things in the edit stand out rather than just, you know, going along and editing while cutting. Otherwise, that will be very inefficient. So uh, to do that, what I'm going to do is take the razor tool here, uh, press C or razor tool or C, I should say, and then just kind of look at the audio lines here. So this is all of Dorian's voice uh, recording and it's kind of visually represented here. And I'm actually going to move my camera up here now. I'm just everywhere. But yeah, essentially, you're going to just want to find the points where Dorian isn't uh, talking or he's sniffling or it's an outtake or whatever. And you're just going to want to go ahead and watch the video and then clip it as you go. So I'll show you an example of this here. This is a cryptic, cryptic clip. It's cryptic. You know everything? So in this instance here, where after he pauses and says it's cryptic, there's a little bit of pause. You could leave that in if you really wanted to, but I want this to be the intro of the video. I want this to be quick and moving along. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that clip clip. Uh, so I'm going to press C and then I'm going to press V and that'll take me to my selection tool. I'm going to click on this and because it's linked, then it'll highlight the audio and the video. You're going to click on the bit you want to remove and just press delete. Then you're going to want to go ahead and right click uh, in the space in between and you're gonna click ripple delete and that'll move it right away. Now, when it comes to audio, the audio can get a little bit choppy if you don't have anything in between there. A lot of times it can jump. Sometimes you can leave it and it's fine, but there's a little trick you can do to make it sound smooth. So I'm gonna play you what it sounds like before I use this trick. Clip, it's cryptic. Notice how it kind of jumps there. Clip, it's cryptic. So what you're gonna wanna do is uh, go to constant power. Now I have this in a little handy dandy custom folder I made for Dorian. Uh, however, for you guys, you're going to want to type in constant power and you should be able to find it or just constant and you'll find it. Drag that down 
And then I like to shorten it pretty small. And that way it doesn't, uh, the audio doesn't kind of jump as much as you had anticipated to for the cut here. So I'll show you what it sounds like now. Clip. Clip. See already, it's a little bit smoother. It's not as much like jumping right into the next thing. It's a little bit kind of like a nice transition before. I know some people like to do the hyper narration style a little bit differently where they'll grab the timeline here and then just kind of fade the audio in between like that. And that's also a good way to jump it, but I actually find this way more of a smooth transition. And also I think it does the job pretty well here. Clip, cryptic. You know, everything Quavo said was true. He didn't lie at all, but. So another good jumping off point here. Oh, thanks, Adobe. <laughs> Classic. Didn't lie at all. So here he takes a little breath. Lie at all. Whoop. And so I'm going to do the exact same thing here and then continue to move on. But you watched enough of these videos. Boom. Just going to keep doing it again. Now, this does take some time, and this is where, you know, the length of time for video editing does come into play here. Having the audio one bar. God. Go away. With having the audio one bar extended like this, we could see literally every time Dorian does take a breath or a pause. And that way it'll allow us just to kind of chug through the rest of this here. So I'm gonna speed this up and show you guys just how much of a difference it'll make here. So I'll play this clip now. You have studied the music business. You understand what really was going on here. Like I said, he didn't lie, but there's more to it than what he said. And now I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. And now this is what that looks like after I went ahead and cut it hyper narration style. True, he didn't lie at all. But you've watched enough of these videos. You have studied the music business. You understand what really was going on here. Like I said, he didn't lie, but there's more to it than what he's saying. So right there, just a lot more concise, uh, gets that message across. Also really uh, backs up the point Dorian's trying to make here in which where he's like, yeah, but you know, it's kind of cryptic. So, you know, again, this kind of editing style can really help a lot of your vlogs or whatever content you guys want to upload on your channel. Just little quick, simple editing tricks like this can make a huge difference in your video. And you should definitely try to use these kind of techniques uh, when you're going ahead and uploading and editing your own content. That way you could be more successful and make more money. I'm out the pond, y'all stay true. Niggas make a lot of noise. Down sleep, nigga down sleep, down sleep. Group eighty two university dot com.